morning and welcome this lovely morning. As we begin our service, let us stand together for our opening hymn. A reading from the books of the Acts of the Apostles. Now the whole group of those who believed were of one heart and soul, and no one damned private ownership of any possessions, but everything they owned was held in common. With great power, the apostles gave their testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. There was not 
not a needy person among them. For as many as owned lands or houses sold them and brought the proceeds of what was sold. They laid it at the apostles' feet, and it was distributed to each as any had need. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Amen. God. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 133. Let us pray it responsibly by half verse. Oh, how God and pleasant it is. It is like fine oil upon the head. Upon the beard of Aaron. Said to them, 
unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands and put my finger in the mark of the nails and my hand in his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. He said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written so that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that through believing you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Please be seated. is 
risen from the dead. I think it is because even though we would doubt things that people said to us, we know what we feel. We know what we've experienced. Because you all have experienced the risen Christ in one way or another. There are many ways to experience the risen Christ. It could be in the actions of another. It could be in a quiet time of prayer when you feel surrounded by love. There are many ways to have experienced Jesus. And for each and every one of you, that's a private, personal thing that you have experienced. And you've experienced it more than once. It might be different each time you experience it, but I know you've all experienced it over and over and over. You've been able to put your finger in the hand where the nails were and your hand in the side where it was pierced. One way or another, with your experience of Jesus, you have done that and have come to believe. And that is something that is very precious. And that's why Thomas didn't even need to do all those things. My Lord and my God, he knew exactly who Jesus was, just as you do. That's how you respond when Jesus comes to you. And you respond with more than that. One of the things that always catches my eye on the collect are the little things. And one of the ways that we make known Christ and our beliefs is may grant that all who have been reborn into the fellowship of Christ's body may show forth in their lives what they profess by their faith. Jesus breathed on you and you received the Holy Spirit at baptism and at many times after that. You have received the Spirit. It comes to you regularly. She's always surrounding you, filling you. And so that Spirit within you through which you know Jesus, you know God, pushes you to do those things that you believe. You're out there in the world doing God's will in the world. You're working with others, helping them. It might be something simple like a smile or a friendly hello. It could be more like feeding people. All the food that we gather goes to help those in need, your brothers, sisters, and siblings in Christ. All of them need that. They need you. They need that fruit of the Spirit that you have within you to do for them. That's what it is to know that Jesus is risen. To be Christ's hands and heart in this world. Let us profess our faith by saying together the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, the eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God. Not made of one 
Christ is risen. In the power of the resurrection, let us pray for all God's people. For the church, that we may celebrate the resurrection with joy and bring the life of Christ into the world. We pray for Thomas' Church, Armenia Union, St. Paul's and Trinity Parish, Tivoli, Executive Assistance to the Bishops, Church of the Good Shepherd, Manhattan, Trinity Church, Fishkill, St. James Church, North Salem, New York, Episcopal, Christia, and the Church of Hopewell Cycle of Prayer for St. Columba Church, for Michael, our presiding bishop. For Andrew, Adam, and Mary, our
through Christ, let us continually offer to God the sacrifice of praise, that is, the fruit of lips that acknowledge his name. But do not neglect to do good and to share what you have, for such sacrifices are pleasing to God. All are welcome at the Lord's table, and are invited to share communion with us.
praise to you, holy and living God, to deliver us from the power of sin and death, and to reveal the riches of your grace. You looked with favor upon Mary, your willing servant, that she might conceive and bear a son, Jesus, the holy child of God. Living among us, Jesus loved us. He broke bread with outcasts and sinners, healed the sick, and proclaimed good news to the poor. He yearned to draw all the world to himself, yet we were heedless of his call to walk in love. Then the time came for him to complete upon the cross the sacrifice of his life and to be glorified by you. On the night before he died for us, Jesus took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his friends and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. As supper was ending, Jesus took the cup of wine. Again, he gave thanks to you, gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Now gather at your table, O God of all creation, and remembering Christ crucified and risen, who was and is and is to come, we offer to you our gifts of bread and wine, and ourselves a living sacrifice. Pour out your spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the body and blood of Christ. Breathe your spirit over the whole earth, and make us your new creation, the body of Christ given for the world you have made. In the fullness of time, bring us with all your saints, from every tribe and language and people and nation, to feast at the banquet prepared from the foundation of the world. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, to you be honor, glory, and praise forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name.
stand together and let us pray. everybody as they 
deal with some of the things that they've thought for a very long time and then see it in a different way and having to wrestle with which, where they are going and what they're thinking of. So um, if you'd like to join us, so we send out the link every Wednesday about 4 o'clock. I usually have that sent out. And so um, please feel free to join us. You're also welcome to join later at check-in or evening prayer so that we can all pray together. Um, I know Cole has said he's going to plant our wonderful Easter plants outside, so it will be really nice. They will continue on with us as long as that uh, they are able, so that's wonderful. I know we have a, and I realize it's not in my book, so I'm going to get a prayer book because I know we have a baptismal anniversary to celebrate today.
love and serve our Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah.